I really appreciate you asking that. I did. I played in Turkey in Istanbul specifically for three years. Um, and yeah, we do um, not as much anymore because of the opportunities that companies have been giving us um, in the months that we're out of season to be able to make money in the United States. Um, but hey, I actually loved my experience overseas and built a lot of character. I got to work on my game a ton. Um, and it's hard, you know, you're away from your family and friends, but at the same time, um, when you get back to the United States, you really appreciate it. And, uh, um, you know, I love playing in front of my family here. Um, and so I don't take that for granted every time I step on the court. So that would be like any off season WNBA season would lead right into Istanbul season. That's correct. Yeah. I was exhausted. Yeah. I could imagine. I could yeah. fathom that, but I think that was happening because business reasons you just talked about in the off season now, which leads to go ahead, Connor. Yeah. Kelsey, obviously the big three offer that Caitlin Clark got has been a huge conversation. And to your point right there, like instead of doing the overseas year round and getting exhausted with the basketball, how did you feel about the big three with Caitlin Clark offer? And do you think there is potential there to do something or it being in the middle of the WNBA season? It's just too too much for her to do, especially in her first year. I mean, it's an individual basis, but I, I know that she's not the only one that's gotten offers. Ooh, and oh. I think that it'll, it'll be interesting to see. Um, that's a lot of money for only like 10 games, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. So... You'll, you'll see. It'll be interesting because it is an Olympic year. I don't suspect you'll have maybe a high level of like people that go, but in other years, shoot, guys. Wait, hold you on. Know. You just broke some news there, I think, you know, and just kind of, I don't know if you did. <laughs> so you said other people get the offers, but then you also said, hey, that's only 10 weeks because our immediate thought is – can she handle it with the WNBA schedule? Because I think you guys play, what, Wednesday, Friday, Friday Sunday. Sundays. Yep. This would be happening on Saturdays. It's 10 weeks if you win it all, I think, mm -hmm. eight if you just a regular season in that. And we started, like, piecing it together, though. She's probably having a workout at least that day anyways. Would you just supplement the big three game as a workout? You think it's doable. And she's not the only one you think that's potentially going to be doing this in the future or at least think about it? I love the way that you're asking this. Um I will speak for myself. I think that it really just depends on the individual person. Um, but I will say that $5 million is not something to just, uh, you know, wave your, yes. wave your arm. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So 10 weeks, uh, roll the ball out. I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think that, um, the big three, um, and the offer will continue to evolve and we'll see. It, it would be, it would be nice if they coordinated it with the W. So it's a little bit more doable with the travel and everything like that. But at the same time, uh, you got to start somewhere. So it's pretty cool that they're involving this and they're, they're open to new things. Yeah. And the traveling, if you were to put it, cause we thought Caitlin was potentially the only one that this was going to take place. Now we're learning from mm. United States of America team member That's representing right. our country. That's right. champion. <laughs> our champion. Two time. But last time. Yeah, last, two times yeah. last time. <laughs> spelled, the, spelled the name wrong on the ring Kelsey last Plum, time. Kelsey Plum, yeah, guard. Yikes. Guard. <laughs> Kelsey Plum there. It's like, I didn't even think about other. Now, okay. I like what I like what Ice Cube's cooking. There's yes, some people that are pissed off about it, though. It doesn't sound like that's how like people that are potentially actually going to benefit from this are feeling about it. I mean, you guys know how it goes. Everyone that has an attitude about it has never probably even run a business. So to me, like who, who, who is someone to, you know, hate on someone that's trying to do something different. And that's what you have to do. You have to be innovative. You have to be different. And I appreciate him for being a leader and stepping up and, you know, you never know. I think that, uh, like I said, I think time will tell, um, how this all shakes out. But, um, at the end of the day, basketball is basketball and we're seeing that and the fans are seeing that. And so, Good things to come. What team offered you? Was, what team did you? Which team are you playing for? Is it the? Oh, um, you're, you're so funny. I can neither confirm nor deny. Ah, there it is. There it is. <laughs>